Okay, this is Andy Roberts here, Distributed Research, a quick screencast tutorial about the Seashore Mac image editor. So I'll just bring the little, I've just launched Seashore. There's some of its windows, so this is the important one. I've decided that one of the things you need to get straight away about Seashore is that it works in layers and you might find that the layers palette isn't switched on in which case you go at the top of the screen to the Seashore text menu options click on window utility windows and show layers and up comes this layers option box, dialog box, which has got these little icons at the bottom, the bin for deleting a layer, up and down for moving the layers up and down amongst each other. This one duplicates a layer and this one creates a new layer. So at the moment I haven't created an image so I haven't got any layers at all. So New image here. If I click on create I've now got a brand new image with nothing in it. So go back to the tool menu. You can choose a um, the brush pencil. Move the pencil size up to decent size, eleven. Got selected the colour black there. There's the colour palette. So I'm changing that to magenta. And now I can draw my wiggly image. At the moment it's all jagged, but when I let go, it should be anti aliased Not much. So we have an opacity slider, which is something the Mac's particularly good at. You can fade everything in and out, different opacities. So now back to this layer tool, look. You can see here in this, this is the layer. It's called the background. There's a little image of what's on it. There's an eye, which means this layer is visible. If I click the eye, it'll go off. Now it's invisible. And there's a lock for locking the layer. So now back down here, you see I can create a new layer. It's created a new one called layer one, which is on top of this one. I'll just change the colour to um, blue and whoops, missed. If I draw the blue, you can see the blue is going over the top of the red. And you can tell they're on layers if I change the opacity of the blue. So now you can see the red coming through. So I'll leave it on about 50% or a bit less capacity. You can see the difference there. So that's called layer 1, which is on top of the other layer, which is called background. So if I move it to the other way around, I've got layer 1 selected. If I move that down, it's now underneath. So the background's on top. Because it's got a pa opacity of 100%, you can't see the blue line underneath at all. So I'll bring that opacity down. Now we can see the blue line underneath. So that's just a rough idea of how you work with layers. I think you need to understand the concept of layers in order to be able to do anything useful with image manipulation in the Seashore Image Editor for Mac. This has been Andy Roberts for Distributed Research. Hope you found that a bit of an insight and look forward to seeing you at the next Seashore tutorial.